Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Melissa Tacky, and I'm the director at the Castleton Public Library. I'm here to talk with you about the library funding proposition that will appear on the May 16th, 2023 Skodak Central School District ballot. With this proposition, the library is asking voters to consider approving a tax to be paid by property owners in the district to fund a portion of the library's operating expenses. The total levy to the community would be $159,000. If approved, this would be an annual levy until changed by a future vote. The proposition will appear as proposition number four on the ballot, and the proposition language is as follows. Pursuant to Education Law, Section 259, shall the Board of Education of the Skodak Central School District be authorized to levy and collect an annual tax separate and apart from the annual school district budget in the amount of $159,000, which shall be paid to the Castleton Public Library for the support and maintenance of the library with this appropriated amount to be the annual appropriation until thereafter modified by a future vote of the electors of the Skodak Central School District. So why is the library pursuing this vote? Um, one reason is that the New York State Board of, Board of Regents as a directive for libraries to encourage libraries to shift tax support from municipal line item appropriations to voter ap approved funding measures. From the perspective of the state, they feel that this gives more transparency, more awareness, and more local community control in determining the level to which a, um, a community wants to fund library services. Another reason why the library is pursuing this vote is, is that it would enable some changes to our hours, staffing, and services. And these changes would likely um, begin on or before January 2024. One thing we would be able to do is add Sunday hours, which is something that when we had recently done a community survey, this is something that people in the community were looking for us to do. It would allow us to, rather than having a part-time youth services librarian, we would have a full-time programming and outreach librarian. These changes would allow us to also expand uh, the library classes and events for all different ages that we do both inside of the building and outside of the building um, in the community. It would also to allow us to expand our outreach services in the community to reach people that are not able to make it down to visit the library as well as a continuing commitment to provide numerous services. So our collections, both physical and electronic, computer and Wi-Fi access, technology help, reference and research assistance, meeting room space, copy print fax services, and so on. So if approved, um, how would our funding change? So as of right now, about 85% of our funding comes from a line item in the town of Skodak budget. Um, we've had a wonderful relationship with the town. Um, they've never turned us down for an increase that we've asked for. Um, but again, this puts the decision about library funding in the hands of just a handful of people instead of a, a voter approved measure that puts it in the hands of many, many people. So um, as you can see, our current budget uh, has that line item from the town of Skodak in the amount of $176,000. From the village of Castleton, they provide $14,000 of direct funding. It is also important to note that the village also provides the library with a number of in-kind services, including the space in which we operate, utilities, and the administration of our payroll and benefits. We also receive a smaller amount of funding from Rensselaer County. If this vote were approved, we would be able to cut our ask to the town of Skodak in half, so that rather than making up about 85% of our budget, it would make up about 32% of our budget. It would also introduce the $159,000 that would be the library tax paid by the property owners in the Skodak Central School District. Um, and that would then comprise about 58% of our budget. So why is this proposition appearing on a school district ballot rather than a town ballot? The main reason for our purposes is that the majority of our users reside in the Skodak Central School District. Yes, we do have folks who come from East, and East uh, Skodak to come to the library, but most of our users do, um, they, they uh, reside right in the district. And if this is passed, the funding support for our library would be more proportional to its user base. 
as far as the relationship between the school district and the library, what does this funding proposition mean and what does it not mean? So the school di district is providing the mechanism for the proposition to appear on the ballot in front of voters. If the vote is approved, the school district would also provide the mechanism for collecting the library tax. If approved, the library tax would appear on your school tax bill, but it would be as an additional separate line. So when you got your school tax bill, there would be a line that said school tax, and then there would be a separate line that said library tax. Once tax funds were collected, all of the funds would be given to the Castleton Public Library in full. The Castleton Public Library would remain a municipal public library. We would retain our same charter. We would retain our same location. And as you may know, um, those of you who maybe are, have children or grandchildren in the district, um, you do know that sometimes we do partner with the school district or with the schools or the school libraries on different projects for youth. We would still continue to partner on those efforts just as we have in the past. So here's what it does not mean. Our budget would not become part of the school district budget. Funding for the library, if approved, would not impact school taxes. You know, they would appear on that same bill, but they would be completely separate funds. We would not become part of the school district. Um, as I said, our charter service area and location would not change. The school district would not operate or govern the library in any way. And the school district would not be funding the library. They're simply providing the mechanism to put that in front of voters to say yes or no, whether they would like to approve this library tax. So when and where is the vote? The proposition will appear on the ballot of the Skodak Central School District budget vote and board election that will be held on Tuesday, May 16th from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. at the Maple Hill High School gym. If you do need an absentee ballot, I would encourage you to contact the district clerk and you can see there on your screen the phone number and the email address for the district clerk. Who is eligible to vote? vote? Um, the person must be at least 18 years of age, a U.S. citizen, and advanced registr registration is not required, but voters must swear or affirm that they are residents of the Skodak Central School District. Thank you again for coming to hear what I have to say today. Um, if you have questions, I would really encourage you to reach out to us so that um, we can make sure everybody has a full understanding of the funding proposition and to answer any questions that you have. You can reach me at 518-732-0879, or you can also send an email to director at castletonpubliclibrary.org, or you can just stop into the library and speak with me there. Wonderful. Hope we hear from you.